Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. Hope you're all doing well today. Today's gonna be a short video because I'm just gonna focus on opening my moth box. It came in the mail today, I'm excited. So if you've gotten your moth box and you haven't opened it and you wanna be surprised by what's in it, turn off my video, I'll see you next time. Um, if you don't mind or you've already opened it, please stay around, let's talk about what's in the moth box. If you guys don't know what Mothbox is, I know I've talked about it before, it is run by Mercedes over at Mercy's Musings. I'll link her channel and the Mothbox link uh, website below. It is two books that you can order at the beginning of every month, which she handpicks from small independent presses. And um, I'll show you actually what it's like. Last time I just had them already out of the box, but I'll show it's what it's like. I ordered them in California. They were mailed to me, it looks like, on the 19th, and I got them today on the 26th. Is today the 26th? It's 26th. So, not too bad, actually, coming from all the way over in lovely England. So, it comes in this box, and what she does is she wraps it so pretty. So, look at this. It comes like this, and it has a little card where she gives you kind of some information. Look at how cool that is see the front of it so moth box this is the short story edition April 2017 this moth box is the first to include two short story collections at first glance they have nothing in common one is realist the other is surrealist yet both of these books leave you realizing you've experienced something so unflinchingly raw and honest as to make you feel laid bare by it all Whilst reading this month's selections, we hope you will take great pleasure in the beauty of the short story. So, you know how I have uh, been telling you how I feel about short stories? I have found that I really actually like short stories. They just have to be really, really good. So, inside all of this packaging, you will find... Look at that. Two beautiful. This is the first one. Ooh, I'm a little bit making a mess all over myself with this packaging. And this is the second one. So what she does is on each of them, she provides you also with a bookmark. And the bookmark has a little quote from the book. So this one says, One night it was almost morning. I could almost see her. Every sentence and necklace she was pulling out of her mouth, tangled in smoke. That's amazing. That's so good, right? So let me go ahead and open this for you guys and tell you what's inside it. Let's see if I can get it open. Hopefully it won't take me too long to do this. Um, so Mercedes, there's only a limited number of these boxes, so you have to be on it on the first of the month. Um, it's not a subscription service, so you can't just sign up once. Uh, you have to go and order them every single time. And look at how pretty. This one's blue. Last one was purple. So, um, And this is Mary... Lang Tan, Mary Lan Tan, or Mary Lan Tan, Mary Lan Tan, Things to Make and Break. It's by published by CB Editions, and it says on the back, so here is what I, my having just two seconds ago finished myself jazz, crazed by things to make it and break, am wagering when it comes to May Lan Tan. To wit, that some smart gobbit of the populace will, five years hence, be found entering her name onto a list of those whose first-hand reports from the interior can be counted upon when, at the worldwide betting window, it's time to risk what's left of time. Nah, I've, I've reconsidered. Make it two and a half years. Gordon Lish. I'm not sure I understood what any of that meant. But it was shortlisted for the Guardian First Book Award, and it is a collection of short stories Oh, she grew up in Hong Kong, but she now lives in Northern California before moving... Oh, and then lived in Northern California before, before moving to London to study art at Goldsmiths. So, oh, that's, that's cool. And I really like it. It's very simple, but bright colors. What a great addition. So that's May Lan Tan, Things to Make and Break by CB Edition. So that's the first book in the box. And then I have been using the bookmarks as I read them like that. The second book, its bookmark says, The seeds of the octopus were very slowly saturated into the wooden mermaid. I bet you this is the surrealist one. <laughs> what do you think about that? So again, perfectly wrapped, so good. 
And what's this one? It is called The Doll's Alphabet by Camille Grudova. I love it. Look, I love the flaps. Oh, I love the flaps so much. What a beautiful addition. Surreal, ambitious, and exquisitely conceived, The Doll's Alphabet is a collection of stories in the tradition of Angela Carter and Margaret Atwood. Dolls, sewing machines, tin foods, mirrors, malfunctioning bodies, many images reoccur in stories that are turned childlike and naive, grotesque and very dark. In Unstitching, a feminist revolution takes place. In Waxy, a factory worker girl fights to keep hold of her man in a society where it is frowned upon to be manless. Oh. Oh, and there's a quote from, I'm not even finishing it because all of it sounds so good. It says that it's by constantly reinventing ways of engaging with obsessions and motifs, Camille Grindova has come up with a method for storytelling that is highly imaginative, incredibly original, and absolutely discom discomfitting. Helen Owemi has a quote on the back, so that can't be bad, right? So Berkeley has decided to play with the paper and eat it. So I apologize about that. So two books from Mothbox. Let me get my bookmark in this one so I don't lose it. First one is um, May Lan Tan's Things to Make and Break. And the second one is The Doll's Alphabet by Camilla Grudova. This is by Fitzcarlado Editions. It's so pretty, guys. I'm telling you. It's just like, it feels expensive. Does, is that a thing for you? It's a thing for me right now. I love it. Um, so short story collections, Mothbox, it's fantastic. Um, I will again link all of that below. So please, if you haven't and you're interested, get the box and uh, talk to me about it. If you've already gotten yours or you already read it, please let me know. I have started the one from North, no, South Korea from last Mothbox. I have it sitting um, in my room. I've started it. So... I am getting through them slowly, but surely they are really good. So I'm really uh, happy that I subscribed to this. So that is it for me for this video. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your work week. And I will see you this weekend. And uh, remember, Saturday is Independent Bookstore Day. So hopefully you will uh, have a chance to go out and support one of your independent bookstores. So talk to you later. Russell with Ink and Paper Blog saying goodbye.